Hey guys, Ryan here. And now that we can actually see our stats and actually see what our KD is, I want to help people hopefully get a better KD ratio overall. And I'm going to talk about that in this video. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is you need to learn to use cover, to make space, to play, to reload, to essentially just win gunfights. Now, a lot of people really underestimate how important this is, but with the lack of movement options that we have available to us, even though I do still think movement's a very viable thing to learn, but we have a lot less movement options available to us, and we need to rely on cover to make space in the same way that a slide cancel would in Warzone 1. And so what you need to realize here is that when you kill someone, try and find a way to reposition, find some space to play it up and then re-engage. And if you can get good at this little pattern, go in, fight, get someone down. Maybe you get a second person down. Maybe you kill someone else, whatever. But you always want to try and find space because space is what's going to allow you to win gunfights because movement in this game, that's where it excels. You can't be using crazy movement to stay alive out in the open. You can't be hitting stims and a double slide cancel. But what you can do is you can get behind cover, then use that cover, manipulate space, play it up, and then use peeker's advantage to your advantage, jump out behind cover, and win the gunfight. This is a core skill that you need to learn. Whenever I watch someone that I'd consider an average player, this is the main thing I don't think they do. They will play behind cover, but what they do is they give up too much space. So the main thing you have to learn is how to shoulder peek and maintain pressure while making space. So this is a weird concept, but what I mean by this is if you're behind cover and you know someone's pushing you, rather than just allowing them to run up on you for free, shoulder peek and when you see him sprinting, take that moment to kill him, get the advantage in the gunfight and use that. Don't just give up all of that space and allow him to kill you for free because that's the exact opposite of manipulating cover to make space for yourself and giving yourself an advantage in a gunfight and all you're doing is putting yourself at a disadvantage. And this is gonna play into my second point and that's don't play to get a better KD, play to become a better player. What I mean by this one is when you have a bad night of Warzone and you're thinking to yourself, man, my KD just took a massive hit and you check the stats, and there's that little pain you feel and it's like, damn, don't worry about that. Don't think to yourself, oh man, I hate all those one kill games, all those things like that. No, think to yourself, what could you have done differently? Were you just missing your shots? Were you just out in the open? Was it honestly kind of just bad luck? Were you running into a bunch of overpowered broken shotguns? Like legitimately, that is something that's super annoying and actually probably hurting your KD right now. And if you really just think about it and actually focus on what you can do to become a better player, you're gonna get a better KD over time. And I promise if you also avoid playing just to get a good KD, you're gonna become better as well. Don't put yourself in situations just because you think it's gonna be good for your KD. Put yourself in situations where it's just gonna be good because that's gonna make you a better player and you're actually gonna improve at the game. And the best way to improve at anything is to put yourself out of your comfort zone and actually limit test. The second part of this is it's gonna get you in the habit, if you combine this with the first tip, of getting yourself in the routine of putting yourself in situations to get high kill games. If you can get double digit kill games, you're gonna start raising your KD super quick. And if you're good enough to get double digit kill games, and the best way to do that is by constantly putting yourself in a position to get better and by always having new gunfights and things like that, then you're gonna get these high kill games and this is gonna raise your KD. You're gonna become a better player. You're gonna get more kills. You're gonna have more fun. And because you're focusing on becoming a better player, you're gonna get a better KD. I promise guys, the only way to get a three plus KD Currently, I'm sitting at a 3.25 KD, and the only way to have a KD like that is to actually focus on becoming a better player. And I promise you, within a month, two months, it's probably going to be 3.5, and after that, hopefully a 4, and it's just going to get better and better. And the third thing I want to talk about, and this isn't for this like actual third tip of the video, this is for this little section, is you have to contextualize your KD, guys, and this is where it's more important to focus on becoming a better player. My Rebirth KD is probably like a 3.10 right now, but for the Battle Royale mode, because I only really die twice, and it's usually actually a little bit easier with Strongholds always having new AVs up, 
Well, my KD is probably like a 3.5, 3.6 in the Battle Royale mode. But because I mainly play Rebirth and you die more times, because think about it, you usually only die twice in Almazra, but you're gonna die three to four times on this Rebirth map a lot of the games, and that's gonna really make it harder to get a good KD because that means you need to have so much more kills. If you only die twice, then you need about seven kills to have a 3.5 KD ratio. On the resurgence modes, if you die three to five times, now you need more kills to get a similar KD, and you really have to consider that if you play Rebirth a lot, you're probably gonna have a lower KD by default. So for my third tip, don't ignore movement, guys. Now, I know a lot of people think movement's dead in Warzone 2, and yeah, it's a lot different than Warzone 1, but I promise it's still a super important skill to learn. And if you even watch that intro clip, and I'm gonna have a video later this week breaking down movement overall, probably around Friday or this weekend. But if you really actually watch a lot of good players, movement is still a core part of almost all of their gunfights. And it's something you need to learn to survive. Watch this gunfight right now in the background. I'm gonna hit him with a nice little double jump shot and it's gonna actually just obliterate the guy. And I genuinely want you to ask yourself if you think I'd win the gunfight that easily unless I did that. And the answer is probably no. And I'm not saying you have to learn movement like it's a core core skill as if it's Warzone 1 or whatever, or if it's Apex Legends, because it's not like that. However, if you genuinely wanna know something that you're probably not focusing on, that you could start focusing on and start improving at almost instantly, it's probably gonna be your movement. And if you really think about that first section where I talked about making space with cover and everything, well, a lot of that is simply because of movement. When you use movement out behind cover, when you use movement as a core thing from cover, then it becomes so broken and something that I think people really, really underestimate. As I said, I want to have a video talking about this more in detail, but for this video, I really just want to cover how I think it's just super important that when you combine everything from this video, you know, focusing on actually becoming a better player, actually focusing on things like movement and cover, all three of them are things you can instantly take into your gameplay almost immediately, and it's just going to help you get better, <laughs> or hopefully it helps you get better. Anyways, guys, I'm going to start wrapping this video up. This next Wednesday, so if you're watching this video in the future, but it's going to be the 15th of March, we're going to have the Season 2 Reloaded patch. We're going to see the Fire Shotgun get nerfed. We're going to see some changes to the game overall and some gun changes. I'm super excited for it. I hope you guys are enjoying this season. I know I am. I know a lot of people are disappointed with Warzone overall, but I'm still loving it, even if I do miss the movement from Warzone 1 overall. But I still think it's a good time. Anyways, guys, it's been Ryan. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good day. I hope this video helps you get better. And yeah, I hope you stick around on the channel. Peace.